Hey everybody, what's up? This is Steve, and I'm back with another Let's Play video. <laughs> question? Is that a question I'm asking you? No, I am back with another Let's Play video. Um, as a lot of you probably know already, um, the server that I play on, Vengeance, is changing to a Burning Crusade server from a vanilla server. And the reason they're doing this is because a new server called Nostaurius? I'm not really sure what it's called. It, I mean, it's spelled... The way you would think it's called, it looks like it's... Oh my god. Guys, if I could just speak English for a second here. It's a new server. I think it's called Nostalarius. It's spelled like that. Um, but that's coming out next weekend. So this server with low populations already was like, you know what, let's focus our efforts elsewhere. And I think it's a good idea. Um, so all of my characters from that vanilla server are being transferred over to this Burning Crusade server. And a lot of other people are doing the exact same thing. So this is now the main focus of the Vengeance server, the Burning Crusade. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of, instead of just level the 60, level the 70 and do all the fun Burning Crusade raids and all that fun stuff that I really was the focus of most of my time playing this game seven years ago or however long it's been now. Also, I'm going to try this thing where I, instead of doing like a fast forward motion and adding really, really terrible music in between, um, interesting things. I'm just going to kind of cut to it and see how that feels. So let me know if you think it's a bad idea or a good idea after I release this video. What I'll definitely take you? everyone's um, notes into consideration, but that's just something that I want to try because a lot of the feedback I've gotten on previous videos has been the music you put in between sucks. <laughs> so, and I'm sorry about that. I just think that it's funny music that I put in there, but obviously it's not really catching. It's not really catching on. So this next video, we're just gonna we're just gonna see how it works if I just cut between things with no in between. Hi, how are you? And with the new change of the server that from the change from vanilla to Burning Crusade, they also included a bunch of add-ons, which I guess is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep them and see if I like them. Um, but as you can see up in this top this top area of the screen, I don't know what this add-on's called. I used to have it when I used to play. Oh, Titan. Um, but it's really cool. It tells me my, my durability, how much bag space I have, how much money I have, um, how much experience I've gotten. Oh, coordinates, which would be really helpful for when I can't find a quest. Um, and it has Healbot here, which I don't need for a while, but that'll be good for when I do need it. Uh, what is this? Mob info, which I guess is cool. I'm going to go ahead. Can I make this go away? No? I don't know how this works. I'm closing it. Um, but also, as you can see here, it's like tracking quests, and I can move that around, so that's interesting. Wow, somebody came through here and just massacred a bunch of wolves and left them in a dead circle. It's like a sacrifice. You know what's weird is that at one point, sacrifices were just a thing. Here's some more wolves. But, like, people were like, oh, it hasn't rained in, in a month. Um, let's kill a person and maybe it'll rain. And what sucks is they did that for a really long time, which makes you think maybe it worked. Or maybe, no, there's no way it worked. How did it, I mean, if it ever worked, it was had to be purely coincidence, right? Yeah. Yeah, for, definitely. What, what am I doing right now? I feel like I'm just walking around in circles. I don't know how I feel about mob info. It kind of takes up a lot of the screen. Maybe I'll turn that off too. What the heck? Oh, can I make? Oh, look at that! I'm moving it around like it's the it's the Earth around the Sun. Is that interesting for anyone else? No. Uh, can I turn you off? Hmm. There's that. Oh, I think if I just disable all this stuff, there we go. Okay. I still don't have any professions, which I think is a mistake that I'm making. And I know that I'm making a mistake, but I'm not going to do anything about it. And I don't know why. It's kind of a lazy move. But I should definitely get some gathering professions. <sighs> but which ones? Mining? Ah, a wolf. There's some copper right there. If I had mining, I'd be able to make a little bit of dough right now. I kind of want to do a crafting profession. Maybe along with a gathering profession. And this is Burning Crusade, so I could do like inscription. Hey, I leveled up. 
What am I doing over here? I'm looking for Brunal Village and I found a bunch of wolves. Oh my god. Oh god, there's so many wolves. Uh-oh. Uh, stone for... Oh my gentle Jesus. I pulled another one. This is it for me, boys. See you in the other life. Oh, I'm alive. Get the hit now. What the fuck is this place? Okay, so obviously the change from vanilla to Burning Crusade added a few elements, a few different areas that I wasn't aware of. So I just walked into a wolf den, apparently, and got obliterated by a bunch of wolves. Oh my god, this is hell on earth. How many... What the hell is going on? I resurrected, and these wolves just come and start eating me again. Again! It happened again! Jesus Christ, everyone. Well, I'm not stopping until I get to level 10. And if I keep dying, I'm going to be up all night. You guys, this game is predicting that it's going to take me two and a half hours to level from 9 to 10. So, I'm doing pretty well. So thanks for asking. Ooh, okay. Going to Nomergon and killing some lepers. This is kind of like the Bible. Didn't they kill a lot of lepers in the Bible? I don't know. I'm not very well versed in my Bible studies, but I feel like that's a thing they did. It would make sense. They kill a lot of people in the Bible. Not to get religious or anything, but a lot of people die in the Bible. We're talking Jesus. We're talking Lazarus, even though both of those guys came back. So maybe they killed a bunch of lepers and they also came back. Does everyone come back in the Bible? Is that the ending? I haven't read the whole thing yet. Don't spoil it. But is that the ending? Wouldn't it be crazy if uh, we just found out that some... Just some guy wrote the Bible. Just like some some author from like the from a long time ago. Who was just like, I'm gonna write a book that's gonna change the world. And all of his friends were like, You said that about your last book, and it ended up being Twilight. And then he's like, No, for real, this one's gonna make people really think. And then he wrote the Bible, and everyone was like, Wow, this is great. I'm gonna live by this book. And then they did, and then so many, so many people became Christians and Jews. Jews care about the Bible, right? They're Old Testament fellas. Guys, I should not be talking about religion. I don't know a damn thing what I'm talking about. Oh, this guy's balding. Oh god, he really hit me hard because I think he was offended that I called out that he was balding. I'm sorry, dude. Hey, it happens to everybody. But that, that comb over looks ridiculous. Just shave it clean like me and grow out a sweet ass beard. In situations like this, is it smarter for me to try to kill him really fast or for me to pop renew on myself and keep hitting him with my, with my mace? I honestly don't know, so if anyone has any ideas, please let me know. Also, should I save my mana to shield myself? I'm just not sure the priority. I'll shield myself this time. I'm sure this is very interesting for you guys to watch a priest beat a little gnome with a mace. Right? No? Oh, that's surprising. Uh-oh, am I gonna frickin' die? Jesus, this guy hits hard. Oh, he's running. Oh, what? He was running away, and then he turned around and smacked me. And now he's running away again. Where are you going? Are you gonna go tell everybody that you killed me? You fooled me. You tricked me. Where are you running to? How far are you gonna run? Oh, he's telling his friend. Now he's running back. Are you? No, he's walking back. Why'd you run all the way over there? You just had to go say, hey, I beat up this bald dude because he made fun of my friend's receding hairline. Well, it's not cool, and it's not funny, and I don't appreciate it. Here's the little fucker that killed me earlier and then ran and told all of his friends about it. Not again, bucko. This time it's you who dies and me who runs to my friends and tells them about it. Oh, you're not even doing anything to me you little baby back bitch oh don't you run and try to get your friends to help no not today 
Oh yeah. If anyone that's watching this video is going to Nostalrius or however you say it when it opens, um, hit me up and we'll hang out on there. I'm going to be starting a character on there as well just to see what all the hype's about. And I'm pretty excited. It looks like there's going to be a huge community. Um, so this will kind of be my Burning Crusade server and that will kind of be my vanilla server. <clears throat> I'll probably spend a lot of time on Nostalrius. You'll probably be seeing me make videos from there as well. Uh, but yeah, hit me up on YouTube or something and let me know what's going on. I won't be able to play on opening weekend, which sucks. I'll be out of town. Um, but when I get back, you know I'm going to be all about that Nostalrius. Also, if anyone knows how it's pronounced, go ahead and let me know how that how, how it's pronounced. Because I feel like an idiot. I feel like I'm probably saying it completely wrong. Nostalrius? That doesn't sound right. Nostorius? Nostalrius. I think that last one was probably it. Hello, little rabbit friend and your wife. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm lonely, so I have board games at my apartment. Yeah, so if you ever, you ever want to come over and play some Settlers of Catan or some uh, Clue... Just let me know. Just call me. You have my number, right? You still have my number? Oh. This is the reason I never see you anymore. Right? Your wife? Well, who's to say you both can't come over and play some games? Settlers of Catan is more than just a two-person game. In fact, it's better when it's three or four people, I would say. Alright, well, uh, you have my number. <laughs> well, if you don't, here it is again. It's five four three five four five five. So, you know, just text me, call me. Listen to the voicemails I've left you the last few months. I left you quite a, a lot of voicemails. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I'll see you later. Uh, just give me a text. I'll be wait. I'll be waiting with my phone near me. I always keep. My all right. See you later. Verdrick. Vedrick. I'm gonna kill the shit out of Vedrick. I hope he drops me some dope ass stuff. Hey Vedrick. Nice name, idiot. What are you, Swedish? <laughs> Fucking roasted that bitch. Alright, Vedrick, it's me and you. After I drink this water, I'm gonna drink your blood. Just throw on a shield. You have any friends in there? No, you're all alone. Well, then I won't feel bad about murdering you. Resist. Resist. Oh god. <laughs> Stone form, bitches. God, this is way closer than it should be. He's just stabbing the shit out of me. Die. Die, Vedric. Haha. <laughs> what do you got? Scroll of spirit. That's all you're going to drop me? You piece of garbage. You have a name. You have a Swedish name. I should get some sort of sweet hat from you or something. Oh well. Killing you be easy, this troll says. Well, you know what wasn't easy for you, apparently? Uh, English class. Because that's not how you say a sentence. Okay? And that's why you're dead now. Because you couldn't say a sentence correctly. And it really ticked me off to the point where I had to kill you. Also, you were in my way, and I have to kill your friends. This is going to be really hard. I have to fully explore this cave, and it's just crawling with trolls. But we'll see what happens. Oh, I forgot to put a talent in. All right, so I think I'm going to go shadow. Ooh, shadow damage spells a 2% chance to stun the target for 3 seconds, or 20% chance to gain 100% of your spirit after killing a target. Dang. Dang. Oh my gosh. You, both of these look great. I think I have to go with Spirit Tap though, right? For leveling? Yeah. Alright. Hopefully that procs after I kill this guy. Okay. Still no exploring. I don't know how far I have to go to fully explore this. Uh-oh. Ah. Oh, fuck. Me. God damn it. Alright, I'm just going to run around and see if I can fully explore it while this guy wails on me. Still haven't fully explored it. 
Still haven't fully explored it. Okay. So I don't know I don't know how far into this place I have to go to fully explore this thing. Okay, so I'm going to resurrect and get killed pretty quickly. So I'm going to try to just explore explore this place while I'm alive. Unless I can res up. No, there's no way. Here's what I want to try to do. I'm going to res right here and try to kill this guy. Hopefully it's just him. Okay, cool. Wow, what is hurting me so bad? Why am I getting hurt so badly? What the fuck is going on? Oh, this dude's throwing spears at me too. Cool. All right. Um, this quest sucks. Like, I don't know where to go to fully explore it. This is my first problem. And the second problem is I can't kill people when I pull two of them at half health. So, 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 so I'm going to try it one more time, and if I can't get it, I'm going to spirit res and abandon it like a bitch. Alright, back to my body. Let's try this again. I'm just going to resurrect and run and hope that I can fully explore it. If I can't, then I'll die, of course, and I will give up on the quest. Ooh, I'm not in combat. This is nice. Still haven't explored it. I'm not sure where I should go to explore this cave. Pretty much been in every crevasse of it. Maybe it's somewhere over here. I just got a small red pouch. I kind of wish that the characters would have the bags showing on them at all times. You know what I mean? Like, he'd be wearing a backpack, and he'd have three little fanny packs around his waist. That'd be more accurate. That's one way, Blizzard. I think you should improve the game. Uh-oh, here's a guy. Oh, God. I still haven't explored this place, and, like, I don't know where to go. Look at that guy. He just jumped up to the... Oh, he's going through the ceiling. Goodbye. Do I have to go around this rock to fully explore Frost Mainhold? Do I have to do a lap around the rock? Nope, that didn't do anything. Oh, he's falling. He's coming back down. Hello, friend. Did you have a nice trip to the ceiling? Uh, I'm going to kill you now. You shouldn't have come down. How much further do I have to go to fully explore this place? Oh, my gosh. I've been in this stupid cave for, like, I don't know, 20 minutes, and I still haven't fully explored it. Kind of running out of patience here. I might quit. Because there's the entrance, and I went around in a full circle. So, gonna probably give up on this quest. Sorry I'm a quitter, gang, but this is gonna end up taking too long. If you're watching this and you know how to explore this cave, leave it in the comments and let me know. Maybe I'll try this quest again, but probably not. And there she goes! She's abandoned. I'm just gonna hang out in this inn now and log out. I went through all my rested experience, so this is the perfect time to just log. Oh, I should train. Hi. Train me. Lesser heal. That'll be helpful. Resurrection. Boom. Ooh, mind blast. Thank God. All right. Cool. So I got some stuff. So we're leaving on a good note. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so th this is Burning Crusade now. Um, I will be making videos on Nostalrius when it does come out with my horde guys, so watch out for those. Um, if you're on Nostalrius, hit me up. If you're on Vengeance, hit me up. Um, oh yeah, thanks for watching. Leave me comments, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.